Hey everyone, this is Carolina Teak with the League of Our Own podcast, and I'm here with former world champion Yodenis Ugas. Ugas will be facing off against San Antonio natives Mario El Azteca Barrios, and both will be competing in the interim WBC welterweight title on the Showtime pay per view undercard for Canelo Alvarez versus Jermel Charlo, September 30th. This is going to be an exciting fight leading into the main event, and you don't want to miss this. Uh, Yodenis, how are you feeling today? Solamente dos semanas para mi lucha. Eh, emocionado y listo. Gracias a Dios. And you have an incredible career and have fought some of the best fighters in the world. But what stands out to me the most is that you are also very proud to represent Cuba during your fights. Why have you dedicated some of your fights in the past to the people of Cuba? Soy, eh, soy un peleador, soy un ante, soy un peleador que representa mi, mi comunidad cubana. Full, eh, la lucha que tenemos nosotros los cubanos, el mensaje. I, I, I am former world champion, but eh, also I am a man and leader of my Cuban community. And and honestly, what reading about your story, I can see why the Cuban people are so proud of you, your people, because what intrigued me the most is that. I read that you tried to escape Cuba multiple times. You were captured. You were sent to prison cells. You had to endure days without food, which is a really tough journey. And then you finally come into the shores of Mexico, and then you eventually reach the state of Texas. Um, how did that journey shape you as a boxer and as a person? Eh, eh, la, la adversidad. Yo siempre hablo, cuando hablo de, de mi caso, tuve como seis veces para poder salir de Cuba, en intentos fallidos, en lanches, cosas. Pero cuando hablo de mí, yo no hablo, yo siempre hablo que son, yo hablo por miles de cubanos que, que, que hemos pasado lo mismo, que pasamos lo mismo. Eso es lo que, lo que forma es el carácter de la persona, la adversidad. Y sí, como, pero lo más importante es eso, cuando yo hablo ese tema, esa historia, que, que mala, esa mala experiencia, fue una muy mala experiencia para mí. Eh, son miles de cubanos que, que pasamos lo mismo, que hemos pasado lo mismo. It's interesting that you say that you aren't the only person who's experienced this from your people. And what I want to know is, have people from Cuba approached you and have they talked to you and said that your story and being outspoken about it, has it changed them or helped them in any way? De mi comunidad cubana, eh, bueno, eh, miles de, de cubanos me conocen. Y hablo, cuando digo, cubanos me hablan de todos los temas, nosotros hablamos de todos los temas, pero ese... Solamente que menos hablamos porque eso ya pasó mucho tiempo. Hablamos hoy, yo represento un mensaje de una comunidad cubana, represento eh, el motivo a los cubanos hay que hay, hay que estarle hablando contra la dictadura. Soy un hombre de mi comunidad, como te dije, soy un es campeón del mundo, pero también soy un hombre y, y, y un hombre de mi comunidad, un orgullo para mi comunidad. No tanto orgullo como, como, como un hombre que siempre está impulsando la lucha contra la dictadura. Love that message. It's just focus on the present. And speaking of the present, you are going to be fighting against Mario Barrios coming up. And it's been about a year and a half almost since your last fight against Errol Spence. Um, what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned in that past fight? And how has training camp been going for you so far? No, eh, una, una gran pelea. Eh, hemos estado haciendo algunos ajustes. Eh, algunos ajustes sobre, sobre, aquel, sobre aquella pelea que no, que no hicimos bien. Eh, no mucho. Esa noche ganó el mejor hombre que fue él. Y no, pero hemos hecho algunos ajustes, pero no mucho. Seguimos siendo el peleador agarrido que eh, hemos sido siempre. I'll be honest with you. The, the better fighter won. In the, uh, when I... And we're really excited about this upcoming fight because you made those small adjustments and this fight is both important to both you and Mario Barrios. So what would, what do you, what can you say would be your keys to your three? If you had to pick three, what are your three keys to success in winning this fight? A ver, si ten... eh, la, como te digo, la clave es, he estado luchando por siete años contra los mejores pesos huestes del mundo. Eh, pero bueno, la clave, esta clave es disciplina, la pelea es eh, eh, como la palabra bueno, pues, disciplina, ser, ser un guerrero, y, y inteligencia, pienso. 
See? Those are great keys to success. So that sounds like a really good game plan. Yeah, and I did mention earlier in the interview that you dedicated your past fights to the people of Cuba. Since we're talking about the present, like you said, who who would you say you dedicate this fight to? Mi, mi pelea, como te digo, eh, soy un, un, un ex campeón del mundo, pero también soy un hombre de mi comunidad cubana. Mi pelea siempre elevando mi mensaje de Dios, patria, vida, libertad. Siempre mis peleas son para pa, pa, pa los presos políticos cubanos, presos políticos del 11 de julio. Siempre mi, 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 como te digo, peleo solamente, no soy un solo peleador, no solo un campeón del mundo, soy un peleador peleando con un mensaje de una comunidad cubana, elevando un mensaje. Ese es el mayor orgullo para mí. Patria, vida y libertad, which means... Patria, vida y libertad. Patria, vida y libertad, exacto. I am, so that I means... am, I am former world champion, but also I am and main and lead of my Cuban community. Pa pa patria, vida y libertad means country, life, and the pursuit of freedom. Beautiful. And my last question to you is the main card... Question probably everybody asks you main card is Charlo versus Canelo. Who do you got? Eh, danos tu vaticinio para Charlo contra Canelo. ¿Quién gana? Canelo, Canelo. Canelo, Canelo. okay, got it. Sorry, I heard it long late. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a beautiful interview. Uh, a man of the people, Jordanes Ugas, representing the beautiful country of Cuba. Uh, definitely, uh, I think it's 54 milagros, 50 y cuatro <laughs> milagros. 54. 54. <laughs> 54 milagros, Jordanes Ugas, wishing you all the best of luck. Congra uh, congratulations on the upcoming fight and wishing you the best. <laughs> Que muchas gracias por todo y, y que te desea lo mejor. Oh, para explicarle por qué 54 milagros. Mi, milagros. Oh, he wants to explain to, he, he wants to explain to you. Yeah, he wants okay, to explain okay, to you okay. what 54, oh, 54 miracles means. Go ahead. Y 54 es uno de los dos, uno de mis mejores amigos que usa 54 y entonces lo combiné y 54 milagros. Espera, entonces, espera, repetí eso de vuelta, ¿cómo es? El, 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 Repetímelo de vuelta. De mi mamá, de mi mamá, y 54 es uno de mis mejores amigos, y entonces los combiné, 54 milagros. Uno de los, el amigo mío que me, que me ayudó para, pa, me mandó para acá, para Las Vegas, me ayudó para cuando yo regresé hace siete años, y entonces yo decía, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo voy a hacer para pa, pa darle de tipo un agradecimiento? Y me puse 54 para pelear, y, y ya se dio hasta hoy, ya todo el mundo me conoce así, 54 milagros. Y el tipo, o sea, que como su apodo, 54. No, es jugador de los Yankees. Oh my God, no. Ah, Aroldis eh, eh, Aroldis eh, Chapman, Chapman decía. Eh, 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 sí, eh, ok. Eh, ese, eh, y ese era su número, ahí entendí, ok. Eh, Entonces, y Milagros es el, número, es el nombre de tu mamá, ¿verdad? ¿Es lo que estabas diciendo? Eh, sí. sí, claro. Sí, ok. So, uh, basically, what, uh, what is 54 Milagros? 54 Milagros is a combination of two of the most important people in my life. Milagros, my mom. Um, and, you know, she's been a, a rock in my life throughout, you know, ever since forever, really. And then and number 54, why? Because Aroldis Chapman, the, the, baseball, the baseball player who used to play for the Yankees, and, you know, he wore number 54. And he was vital to, uh, to motivate me and, and to, you know, to bring me to Las Vegas and had me come back seven years ago after being away from boxing for a couple of years. So I combined those two things and that's why it is 54 Milagros. I love that story. That's awesome. Because, you know, I'm, does he, I wonder if he knows that you named yourself, that's your moniker is after him because sometimes people that don't even know us are our biggest inspiration. So that's a really good story. ¿Sabes, Chapman, que es tu inspiración para 54 Milagros? Sí, claro, lo sabe, sí. Of course he knows. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your time. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Gracias, Caro. Hey. Have a good day. Okay. I'll, I'll see me you. Voy. Me voy, Matí, me voy ya.
Listo, gracias, señor Denis. Un abrazo grande. Cuídense. No, no queda uno más. No queda uno más. No, que, no es, que, es que no está, entonces no lo voy a... Te tenés que ir a sparring, andá, tranquilo. Ok, Dale. Perfecto, perfecto. Okay. Okay. Dale, un abrazo. Caro, thank you Bye, very much. Lovely to see you. Gracias. Bye.